In this video, we're going to look at how to bring in an assembly file saved as a step file. So first, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to tell it to open. I'm going to navigate to where the file is. For the file type, I'm going to switch it to step. Here's my step file. Before I do anything else, I want to go into the options. I want to make sure that it imports solids and surfaces. I'm going to tell it to try and form surfaces. Turn on these three checkboxes. And for the assembly structure mapping, I'm going to leave it as the default. For the units of import, whichever one you want, it won't make much difference. I'll change it to file specified unit. And I'm also going to let it automatically heal any problems. So I'll say OK. And then I'll say open. And then it'll take a minute. It's going to stop here and say, which template do I want? I'll choose the inch assembly template. And then it will all open up. I'll look isometrically and I'll turn on shade it with edges. Notice how it's fixed. And if I expand it, you can also see I'm in an assembly template, not a part. Each part is also fixed, which is great. But before I can edit the part, so if I want to edit this part, I right click on it or click on it, I don't see the edit part option. What I have to do is come up here to the assembly and right click and tell it to dissolve the feature and say yes, break the link. It'll take a moment. And now I can click on it and I can start editing my features. So in the next video, we'll look at how to edit these features. But I want to stress because they're already fixed, there's no point in floating them and then remating them to the correct position.